and you know now we have fallow areas in Eureka and in a district that was hard to get to. You know, the, those were those were decisions that were made uh, under a different time and different place, and people just uh, didn't you know we put CR out in the middle of nowhere, and it's sort of that same thing. The other thing that happened when we put in that bridge was. Uh, was the ferries did stop going through Old Town, and that had a big impact on the businesses of Old Town for sure. And all the workers that used to file through there twice a day, uh, and all those businesses, it was a big impact. And so, uh, you know, now we talk about walkable communities and how do we reconnect. Well, that's the, we're living with those impacts. One of the things is I know that Caltrans is on a project, working on a project right now uh, with regards to uh, 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 the Highway 255. And they are looking at um, access with regards to a trail going through Manila on their on their easement, which or on their property, which is the first time I've ever heard them actually beginning planning process. And they're talking about cantilevering a trail off of the Samoa Bridge. Now, unfortunately, they didn't they didn't think about this, or well, they did think about it. Um, Jen Rice from RCAA told them over and over back when they were doing their retrofit, "What about the cantilever? What about the cantilever?" And it wasn't just what it just wasn't part of our community dialogue like it is today. And now because the trails agenda has been pushed so, uh, you know, uh, advocated for so, so well in our community, Caltrans now thinks about it and has put in their plans. Now, whether it can be, they can afford it or not is a question we'll have to see. But then so the, on the transparency issue though, I'd like to say, you know, that was one of the things that I, I advocated for very hard the district was to both, uh, you know, end our sort of ad hoc committees that didn't didn't have any kind of uh, where, anywhere they're going, and then also to get us on on uh, on television. And I've been working with Andy, who's been the valiant volunteer. And thank you for mentioning Andy has been doing a good job of videoing our, our meetings and getting them on. And, and uh, uh, we're working on it. And I'd like to see that. It's just a budget issue now, actually. Thank you, thank you, Mike. And now, uh, uh, Susan. Um, yeah, access to Woodley Island is a major issue. Since I live there, it's even more of an issue for me than many. I actually went to a Caltrans, not a Caltrans, um, HTA meeting and asked about the possibility of a bus stopping there and was essentially told that there's not enough traffic. Well, there isn't and partly because people don't know it's there. I think, you know, Perhaps having the district engage, rather than just a single citizen, engage the local public transportation entities in dialogue, even if it was three times a day to have a bus go from Eureka to the island, might alleviate some trouble. Um, you know, walking over the bridge is very dangerous. I did talk with Jen at one point, and she said that basically our the bridge, despite its sturdy appearance, is not strong enough to support a cantilevered um, pedestrian access. Right. So obviously something much more needs to be done in order to make that possible. Yeah. And I also see people of all ages both walking and riding their bikes over that bridge every day, and it's terrifying. Um, one thing I would like to see are would be a safe place on the city side to bring a small paddle craft and keep it secure, and then a safe place at Woodley where people using such could leave it. Um, there is one gentleman that lives on Woodley and takes his kayak across, attaches it to the Bonnie Gould dock, and goes to work. Um, I don't really feel safe leaving my outrigger there. So possibly some other docks, you know, specifically designed for commuting. Um, and yes, we, um, Andy's been doing a great job of taping the meetings, and we're working on that. Thank you. And Dan? Um, I would agree that the modification of the, the bridge uh, is probably the, the most realistic way of providing additional transportation opportunities, pedestrian and bicycle, uh, to Woodley Island. And as Charles knows, um, uh, as, as city manager, I led the effort to provide for the Humboldt access system uh, that's added a number of cities to uh, the television access, a uh, number of local governments, and uh, certainly believe that uh, Humboldt access uh, should work with the, the district to provide live coverage uh, of their meetings and uh, 
has the resources uh, certainly to expand, uh, probably slowly, to expand to uh, other local governments, whether it be the Harbor District or special districts up and down this coast. Thank you. Now, I'm going to ask each candidate to for two minutes of summation, and um, we'll do this in um, basically the reverse order that we started, and we'll start with uh, Richard Marks, and then Dan Hauser, then Mike, and lastly, Susan. So starting off, Richard, summation, two minutes. Okay, I'd like to thank again the Citizens Port and Rail Development uh, for hosting this forum. Um, I think that uh, all the candidates here are well qualified for this position. Um, I think that uh, we really need to focus on trying to do things to create work again. I really think that our economy is in a situation where we need to really focus in on trying to be progressive in finding the work out here. Um, as far as my campaign, uh, I, I've been endorsed by the Association of Western Pulp and Paper Workers, Locals 49, um, the Plumbers and Steam Fitters, the International Brother of Electrical Workers, the United Brotherhood of Carpenters, AFSME Operating Engineers. I've also been endorsed by the Humboldt County Democratic Central Committee, and um, I'm also uh, I, I've been walking door to door, been going, uh, putting up uh, signs. If you see those signs, I've been in those neighborhoods. Those ones didn't, didn't pop up. I actually went and talked to those people. And um, I'm hoping for your support. And uh, please remember to vote this November 3rd because there's going to be a very low turnout. Thank you. Dan. Uh, again, also, I uh, would like to thank the uh, Citizen Support and Rail Development uh, for sponsoring this forum gives us an opportunity to not only share our views, but to hear what each other's views are uh, on these topics. Um, again, uh, the main thrust of my campaign is to uh, do everything possible to create living wage jobs, to, uh, to take a look at and st seriously study the economic and uh, environmental uh, aspects of any development proposal, uh, but to work with uh, the citizens of our community uh, to create those living wage jobs. Uh, my candidacy has been endorsed by a number of labor organizations, including the Central Labor Council, Plumbers and Pipefitters, uh, and Local 3 Operating Engineers. Uh, the, uh, I would uh, appreciate your support and uh, promise to work hard uh, as a commissioner. Mike. 